My name is Alan Hatton. I'm the Ralph Landau Professor of Chemical Engineering. I'm also Director of the School of Chemical Engineering Practice here at MIT and also co-director of the MIT Energy Initiative Low Carbon Energy Center on Carbon Capture, Utilization and Storage. My general areas of research right now are focused a lot on the uh, capture of carbon dioxide from various uh, uh, sources. Now we can think of flue gases from power plants, we can think of industrial gases from steel and uh, cement manufacturing. We can talk about uh, capturing CO2 in the local environment in the buildings that we, and to reduce the, uh, the burden in the, in the buildings and closed environments. We can also think about direct air capture, which is a, a big topic nowadays. It's a controversial topic, but I think it's an important one that we need to address. And are there efficient ways in which we can do this uh, capture? One of the big issues with uh, the carbon capture technology is it requires a large amount of energy. For instance, the, the main process that people are looking at uses amines, a sort of chemical that can bind with the CO2. The CO2 will be captured by it, form a complex with the amines, and then you have to regenerate and release the CO2 as a pure CO2 stream. And this requires a significant amount of energy, uh, particularly steam energy. And uh, how do you get that? Well, you can take that out of the chemical plant or you can make it some other way, but it's very energy intensive and requires a lot of heat integration in the systems. Our particular case, what we're looking at is, uh, are there ways in which you can exploit renewable energies, uh, elect electricity primarily, or only electricity really, to really uh, to do the same kind of uh, thing? Uh, what we are looking at is a couple of different projects. One is the uh, looking, uh, it's called EMAR, Electrochemically Mediated Amine Regeneration. And rather than taking the amines with the CO2 and heating them up to release the CO2, typically that's going from about 50 or 60 degrees up to about 120 degrees, we take them in at the same temperature that we bring it in at about 50 or 60 degrees, and then we add copper to the solution and we, take, we feed it to an electrochemical cell and we add copper to the solution by oxidizing an electrode in the anode chamber. And the copper then binds with the, with the amine rather efficiently and kicks off the CO2. So then we recover the CO2 as a pure CO2 stream and take that amine copper complex and send it to the other side of the, of the electrochemical cell where we uh, regenerate the amine by plating out the copper. So the copper gets reduced and it goes onto the electrode in the uh, cathode side. Now this process seems to be pretty uh, robust and uh, we've managed to work at for, for hundreds of hours without any, any issues associated with it. And um, it seems to have a comparable economics and other advantages associated with uh, typical CO2 capture processes. The advantage of something like this is that um, it's a plug and play process. You do not need to go and, and find a source of steam. You do not have any issues in terms of integrating it with the uh, other plant that you may have. You can just put it in there as long as you have a good electrical source, it, uh, it'll do the job for you.